It's your boy and girl. Fear back another video. And today, I got another video, guys. Man, today we're gonna be checking out the Team Bardock Squad. Now, <coughs> the Team Bardock Squad right here. We got our boy uh, Borgo, Sugas, uh, Fasha, and then we got two Bardocks. Now, you guys are like, where's Tora, bro? Sadly, I did not pour Tora, and I know you guys will be like, well, there's a purple EX Tora. I'm not bringing purple EX Tora. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, we got to just make do with this team Bardock. Um, I wish I pulled Tora, but I couldn't. So, yeah, just looking at, you know, Bardock, he wants to be the last stand unit. So, rocking him with these, uh, with the team Bardock is a really dope team, right? Like, you know, team Bardock. He's able to, the, he revives him with his Z ability, right? And then um, just checking out Fasha as well. Fasha is a very good unit. Um, she's really, she has a really amazing kit as well, which is really dope. But yeah, let's get on to the matches though. So, <clears throat> first match, I'm facing up against a uh, blue, purple, purple. Oh my god. Yeah, blue, purple, purple uh, Saiyans team. So, right here, I just wanted to show off what the, uh, what the team, the Bardock fam, the said the Bardock family the team Bardock can do right here so I thought off with the red right just chilling here um doing extra damage right there he goes to Gogeta and then um you know I'm chilling here waiting for him to do the blue card but he doesn't so right here I can tell this guy is patient just the way he you know stopped right there and then you know attack I should start going immediately when um he does that right so I gotta chill here and try to get myself a combo going but he pv's right here so right now I'm thinking like he probably has a rise rush right now because you know if you get two combos especially with units that has cover chain like card draw speed like that like you just feel like they they have a rush right now so right here i'm trying to play aggressive and he's just you know making sure that he's he's um he's clashing with me and tapping me out and luckily i win that right there but bardock's not gonna do extra damage because this guy is in the vegeta side so he's not gonna do as much damage so i went to borgos and just popped the blue card borgos isn't really known to do a lot of damage right he kind of want to be the person that dies first so it kind of hurts him that i kind of need him to survive because of gogeta and the vegeta side of goku vegeta right so uh you guys gonna see that there's gonna be times where i do kind of catch him lacking but borgos doesn't do enough damage for me to uh for me to pose him a threat for his blue ultra gogeta and then the vegeta side right so i'm chilling here i have to eat this damage if i go to the red bardock he's gonna get one shot it so i have to eat this but borgos is tanking it i'm not gonna lie he is definitely tanking it dodge here he pop a blue card i know that that's a long animation so i go to the yellow bardock and then pop the uh and popped the uh, blue card. I should have went to the red bar. I can do it because I totally forgot that he's on the Vegeta side of it, right? So every time he's tapping me, I'm noticing that he is uh, he, he's getting the no switching proc every time, right? So right here, I go with the blast, and then I go with the blast again, and I'm like, you know what? Let's rise the rush. Whoever I rush, I just need to rush someone to get someone out. But right here, I felt like. I should have switched into Red Bardock to Rise of Rust because if I would have killed, he would have locked me in and would have killed, easy would have one shot at uh, Bardock, right? So right here, like I said, he's tapping me and then he gets me with the full range Rise of Rust. The thing that I do to people, he did that to me without surprise because I did try to time it when he sized up, but uh, he got me right there, but I was able to guess him. So we both got our rest his guess, right? So I went up here and tapped him. So we're up 3-2, but I can't really be satisfied because he has two of the best units in the game that can come back, right? And uh, I go to Bardock. He can finally transform because it's been like 50 time accounts, I believe, he needs to transform. So Bardock's able to transform. And I'm like, all right, bro, let's see what we can do. Let's see what the team Bardock can do against uh, against the best, the top two units in the game, right? So chilling here, and what I need to do is just pop my uh, <coughs> main ability so I can nullify. I believe he nullifies against blue, and he locks him in for 10 time accounts, right? So I kind of just have to survive this damage right here. And once he pops the blue, I go to Borgos, let Borgos take all that damage. Uh, I know he does destroy all of our cards, sadly. Like, that's... I, like, I hate that. Like, I can't believe they actually did that as a thing. Where every time he pops a blue card, he does that. So right here, he attacks immediately. I know he was going to play aggressive. So I want to try to get the class, lose the class right there. So right now, it's looking like Borgos is going to have to go because I'm not throwing in uh, 
Bard out because I know he has his old card right there. So I'm like, you know what, Borgos, I believe that he can tank this. He is in type of advantage, right? And he's a tanky unit. So I believe that he is going to survive with a sliver of help. Never mind, because Ochi Gogeta is the best unit in the game. I forgot. So yeah, lock him in, I believe. I go type disadvantage, but he timed it, right? So I should have went with a strike. And right here, <coughs> I think he, does he kill Bardock? Barely kills Bardock. And then he gets me to tap. I pop the blue card, do some, you know, decent damage, but he gets his advantage back in time. So, um, yeah, now I'm in a two, 1v2 situation, right? Uh, he gets the best two units in the game. And I go here just to see what Bardock can do, because Bardock is last stand, and we want to see how good he is last stand. So right here, I go with the blast. And I believe I pop my main here just to nullify against plus cover change. It'd be switched because he is on the Goku side of things, right? So I went with that blast you to uh, cover change. I mean, not cover change, but you would have blast cover change me. So <clears throat> right here, he's at the last stand. He doesn't even kill Goku um, side of things. So that kind of hurt right there, not going to lie. Him not able to one shot was uh, kind of a big yikes, bro. Uh, I know, like, He's in his best, you know, this is his best state. This is his last stand type of vantage. <clears throat> and you didn't one shot, that kind of hurts. Now, I know I didn't really have him in the battlefield for very long, so you can get that extra 70% damage inflicted, but even still, you're supposed to one shot, bro. Like, that's the type disadvantage unit, right? Like, you're supposed to one shot. Um, you're the new LF, you got the boost as well. And right there is kind of what cost the game. Like, if I was to one shot, if I was able to one shot that Goku Vegeta, then I could probably maybe did a good play and probably would have rise and rush the Ultra Gogeta and won the game. But right there, since he didn't kill, that's what happened. Now, I wanted to show you guys that because, uh, you know, I got to show out his flaws, right? So, you know, we got to bounce back for this loss. Next, we're facing up against a God Key team. And I wanted to bring Fosha because Fosha is a really dope unit. So right here, I know he's going to pop the green. So, yep, that's what I did. I sidestepped right there. And I was like, you know what, let's pop, uh, let's go to uh, Bardock because I just want to show his damage. And I pop right here. I think I drop combo because I have another strike because I know that he's going to bring in Corrupt Merzimasu. It makes sense. I'm a yellow. He's a red, right? So that's why I drop combo with the red Bardock. So right here, I'm just chilling, just trying to blast cancel with him and everything, just trying to, uh, you know, wait for him to, you know, sidestep. I know he sidesteps twice. Pop the green card with Basha, just chilling here. And when you pop Basha's main abilities, he does nullify uh, Team Bardock. I like Team Bardock, um, a special cover change against enemies, so that's really dope for 20 time accounts, which is actually kind of disgusting. So right here I rush, because why not? <clears throat> I have my rush, I might as well use it, just to show off uh, your yellow Bardock and everything. So yeah, uh, we're, we're really in a good spot, because Corrupt Emerging Monster was, you know, uh, pretty, you know, pretty squishy, so all I have to kind of deal with is just Goku Vegeta things, right? But his Goku Vegeta... He doesn't have the highest, doesn't have the best health, right? Like, he's at, you know, barely touching 2 million, right? So, right here, I kind of have to eat this damage and switch to Red Bardock because he's going to one-shot Bardock. I'm telling you, he's going to one-shot He's gonna one -shot the yellow Bardock if he were to pop that blue card with Vegeta, right? So, I'm chilling here, just not trying to get, uh, just not trying to get Rise and Rush, not trying to get PV, bro. That's, like, the worst thing when you face against, uh you know, in PvP is just to get Rising Rush. But right here, look at Fossil's Blast Damage. I know that it's a squishy red Zamasu, but um, throughout the match, you guys are gonna see her, you know, do some, a lot better damage as well against uh, non, you know, non-red units. So look at her Blast Damage right here. Like, it's very impressive. Like I said, she is getting boost, but she is a three-star EX unit, bro. She's not supposed to be doing that crazy Blast Damage. So I go to Bardock and I pop the main and pop the old card. I know it's not gonna kill, but I wanna show off his damage. But he forfeits. He probably thought I was going to uh, LF him. Uh, that was definitely not going to kill uh, Goku Vegeta, especially the Vegeta side of things, right? So, Foster did her thing. Really impressive by her. And then Bardock is pretty dope. I wish I had the green Tora, um, but we're all good, right? So, next match, I bring out the man Sugas, right? So, we're doing a yellow, yellow, green setup uh, with the team Bardock, right? Um, so, right here. Uh, we got uh, Tanky, Goku Black Zamasu, Instant Heal. We have Goku Vegeta that can heal as well. And then we have Sword of Hope Trunks with Endurance. So this is a very strong team. I really want to see how this team fares up against arguably one of the top teams in the meta. So right here, I swear I swapped into Bardock, but the game didn't want to let me, they didn't want to let me switch, right? So I had to take that damage from Borgo, sadly, which I did not want because that was a ton of damage, right? So I'm chilling here. I uh, wanted him to sidestep once again, but he did kind of delay it, so he got the PV air. 
So right now I'm thinking, this guy has a rush. This guy has a rush. That's what all I'm thinking about right now. So I go to Borgos, right? Just um, running him to take all the damage. Hopefully he doesn't have a rush so I can like pop his uh, main ability and heal and all that stuff, right? See what he's doing. Uh, just don't want to get PV. So I go to Shugas, tap right there. And right now I'm scared of him popping a green card and taking my Vanish away and making me use uh, go to Bardock. And then he can, you know, play aggressive and rise and rush. Right here, that's what I'm scared of. Is him popping the green card, getting rid of my vanish. But he doesn't really do much. So I'm just chilling here. See him sidestep, pop the blue card. Really good blue card damage right there, not gonna lie. I wish he would have took out his first life. But uh, he does it again, but I timed it wrong. So kind of have to eat this damage with Bardock. And then I just go to Borgos. I don't want Borgos. I don't want Bardock to take that much damage. So chilling here, right? Like I said, don't get PV'd. His plan. And, um, you know, he gets me the blue card, but Borgos is a tank. So he's not going to die from that. So I uh, go with another blast, and I was able to finally get him there. But, you know, his gauge fills up, so he takes all my key anyways because that's his trunks, right? Chilling here, and then I was able to sidestep and get the PV right there, able to get the combo. So right now I'm thinking is I'm just trying to pop trunks is first uh you know his first his first health so i could rise and rush but he just switched it to goku black to masu and i was like oh perfect too I'm, I'm just rise and rush because you can't bring back trunks right you have no way of you know sub cap manipulation so right here i picked the strike because i just feel like he's going to pick a uh, just another card and i was right he was able to kill goku black to masu and full health right him cover changing as well which is very impressive so we're in a good spot <laughs> you know we're facing against the top you know these are some top units right like trunks is top five goku vegeta's top two and then goku black and masu is arguably top 10 right so we're facing <laughs> some really great units and uh the the team bardock team is holding it down look at shoe guys bro you know what I'm saying like you know doing the doing the chest bump against the trunks bro like this team is teeing up right now you feel me so we go in here we're doing our thing, just trying to get my vanish right, and then uh, he goes to Vegeta, which is going to get a little bit tricky, right, because uh, more ghosts, right, like, I got to make sure that, you know, he doesn't die, so right here is basically, I kind of messed up, so I kind of have to let... Borgos die sadly. Um, he just has enough cards for me for him to kill, so, but then I was like, you know, let's actually switch out. Let's actually switch out to Shoe Guys, because Shoe Guys can actually tank it, and why not, like, why not? Like, there's no point in letting letting Borgos die. I'd rather have a three v two situation than a two v two situation, right? So I'm chilling here. He's tapping. I'm surprised he's not using his rush because um, I know he has a rush, right? So right here, I timed it right here, got his timing, and then um, I'm going in with Borgos with the blast, trying to see if I can get another card right there. But I just popped the blue card with uh, with. Uh, Bardock, which right there, I feel like I should have popped, just popped the old card and then have the blue card on standby, but that was definitely a bad play by me, so I'm still chilling here, right, eating this damage with Bardock, if he rushes, I'm gonna get rid of uh, Shoe Guest instead of Borgos, because Borgos can still be somewhat useful when I'm dealing with the Vegeta side, uh, I don't want to have two yellows where he just stays in with Vegeta throughout the whole match, so that's why I got rid of Shoe Guest instead of Borgos right there, so I think Bardock does come back. I think that's who is next. So right here, I go to uh, I go to Borgos. Borgos survive, right? So right here, I'm playing aggressive with Borgos because I need to get as much damage as possible with Borgos before he dies. That's all I'm thinking about is, all right, whenever I have cards, I'm gonna just use it, right? So when I get the key, I go with a strike, right? Like I'm just playing mad aggressive, which is gonna throw off his, um, just the way he plays because I'm changing up my, my play style. I'm playing aggressive, right? So Borgos, I'm just popping the strike cards, all right? And, Borgos was able to get the dub with a sliver of health, bro, because he's just a tank, bro. Look at him eating that cookie, bro. Look at him eating that cookie, bro. Let him have his break, bro. Shout out to Borgos, man. You held it down for me right there for that match. Facing against the top team in the game. So, Borgos did his thing. Major salute to you, bro. You can definitely eat them cookies, bro. Feel me? So, yeah. Next match, facing up against, uh, I think this is the last match. You're facing up against a blue, blue, red Sun Fam team. So, this team is rather annoying, right? Because I brought in red Bardock and I brought in uh, yellow Bardock, right? So, uh, blue units can stop, you know, red Bardock and then FSK can stop yellow Bardock. So, right here, I kind of have to deal with a unit that has uh, revival as well, right? So, this is going to be a pretty long match and I have to deal with a unit that's a very strong last stand unit. Still, even though he kind of fell off a bit, he's still, uh, you still got to, you still got to respect uh, uh, FSK, right? So, Right here, I try to delay it, but he got me. So I go to uh, 
Red Bardock, I feel like he's gonna go with Blast because FFK has a ton of Blast cards. So like, you know, let's pop the blue. And then, you know, get some, you know, somewhat of some damage right from Bardock. But I go to Foster right here. I believe he tapped me out right there. I was really trying to get, um, I really was trying to get him to side stuff so I could show you guys the blast damage of Foster. So perfect. Even against a blue unit, like Foster's blue card is nuts. He does get uh, key, I mean, uh, oh my goodness, car draw speed, sheesh. And then uh, all sorts of that stuff. And uh, yeah, Foster looks good. Three stars and that's what she's doing, bro. Like just imagine you have her at like six or nine stars. She's probably nuts. And I bet you Toro is actually very good as well. Like, just probably just the opposite of her, but just does a lot more strike damage, right? Like, look at, like, she's she's taking on Clap Crew by herself. Now, I know Clap Crew isn't the most impressive feat, but the fact that you're a three star EX unit doing that, actually, you know, that's, you know, that, that's, a, that's a pretty interesting feat right there. So, right now, I'm just trying to focus on getting Clap Crew. Uh, first revive out right, but right here he pops a green card, which is actually pretty smart And I got to start learning to just go with a strike whenever I face a unit that has an AOE green card In those situations just go in with a, with a strike instead of trying to uh, vanish right there because uh, They always have a green card in their hands, but right here 50 times comes finally elapsed so I could transform with Bardock finally get his uh, his all transform state But right here, I'm just trying to get him to um, I'm trying to get him to use a full range Rise and Rush, which I did catch him lacking with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Uh, sniped him right there, and I was able to use my Rush, and he didn't get to me as well. So taking out Super Saiyan Blue Goku is dope. Now all we have to really deal with is FSK. Now, well, Cloud Crew is annoying because, like I said, he has endurance, but FSK is the big problem because, you know, he has the last stand buffs, right? I popped my main ability, popped the green card, just trying to see um, him sidestep, but he does get me right there. But uh, he popped his main ability. He didn't uh, attack me right there, so I did a uh, I did a charge cancel, so he doesn't you know get me with his blast card and you know wreck Fasha right because he's tight notification. But look at Fasha, bro. You know type neutral, uh, type neutral, and she's doing really great damage, really great blast damage. So shout out to Fasha right there. Uh, I believe I do. I think I do lock him in right here just to um, just for him to get the damage right. So I popped the blue card with Bard off. And I'm thinking that this is going to kill, but you know, I forgot that he gets his vanish back really quick. So he pops the old card, and yeah, uh, Barda does take a ton of damage, but he didn't one shot, which was really good. So, you know, I gotta play aggressive right here because there's really no point. If I didn't play aggressive, he would just kill. I did terrible on the class, right? So Bardock is definitely out of here. Uh, but he rides and rushes, which I guess he didn't have no more cards left, so he rides and rushes Bardock, which is. I would definitely take because he's at yellow health anyways, so I'll take a full Rise and Rush for him. And now Foster, he doesn't have to be worried about anything. And FSK's type neutral timer count is actually gonna go away soon. So Foster is gonna um is gonna be able to have type advantage over him in a couple timer counts. So right here it finally went away. So now all I have to do is just deal with clap coup, right? I'm gonna tap him out. Uh nope, I didn't tap him out. I actually sized up. My bad right there. So finally took out his first life. And now I can deal with the second life, right? So chilling here. I still have my old card, right? Um he's doing his damage, but I'm not really worried about clap coup damage at well at all. Like you see the damage he's doing right. So um yeah. Chilling here. I do get a sliver of my uh my my uh my goodness, bro. My vanish gaze back, and I'm chilling here. Go with the blast. I should have went with the strike right there, just so I could save for Fasha. But I'm chilling here, and like I said, you know, just trying to get his vanish out the way. That's all I care about. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the damage that he's doing. Like, it is a lot of damage, right? But he's not type advantage, so I'm at type neutral, so I'm not really scared at all. So, right here, all I'm trying to do is just trying to just. You see me clicking the strike card, so I can just start my combo, right? So. He did see me right there, and I'm just like, all right, bro, like, is he done? So he, you know, goes with a strike, and I'm like, all right, perfect. Uh, we're going to try to finish this off. I was trying to, I'm trying to finish it off with Bardock so I can get the LF, right? So I get him down to the yellow, and I go with the blast, and then I believe I go to Bardock, pop the main. I pop the blast right there. I know it's not going to kill, and then I get the LF with Bardock. So, yeah, Team Bardock. You know, pretty dope video. They're definitely not, um, you know, top tier as team. I maybe with Tora, they could be a lot better because I don't have Tora. But you know, Foster is amazing team. You know, Bardock did his thing as well. And it was a really fun team. And hopefully, you guys like Borgos and Shugas. Um, 
hope I wish I pulled Toro. Maybe I might go back to the banner to chase after Toro. Uh, on God, no. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. LF looks amazing. I love the walk, bro. Um, it's so clean. It's so nostalgic when I first seen it the first time. But yeah, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Team Bardock, you know, assemble. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe with my girl, man. And I'm out.